So OnePlus claims their 7 Pro is water resistant, but we don't know the IP certification. And quite frankly, it would take a lot of tests and a lot of time to figure that out. But what if we could test it for everyday situations? The moment you drop it in a toilet, maybe in a puddle or in a low flowing river. Let me do this for you. Don't do this at home. Let me screw up my device because if you screw up yours, it's not gonna be covered by warranty. So first things first, we gotta see if the phone is working. This phone has never seen water before. So obviously everything is in working order. I can scroll up and down and move left to right. Now the first test is a 30 second, oh crap, my phone just dropped in the toilet test. And this is the test that's probably the most common for most people. So here we go. Oh, breaks my heart. 30 seconds, come on baby. Three, two, one. Bam! Oops, stop. Okay, here we go. All right, so for this test, this water is regular tap water. So it's nothing fancy like distilled or from a lake or even the ocean. As you can see right now, based on the first few motions, touch is still working. I can scroll up and down. Let's look at the camera quickly. Not cloudy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here, I'll put it over the thing. Let's check out the front facing camera. That's looking good. No cloudy experience there. Let's see if there's any water on the front facing camera. I wonder if you guys can see that. No, front facing camera is actually quite dry. So it is protecting the water from going inside of the lens. Now for the next test, we're gonna do a one minute test. This is like you're by the lake or maybe like a small river and little Billy pushes you in. You're like, oh no, my phone is in my pocket and it falls into the water. You don't notice until a minute later. So let's go. Three, two, one, bam, one minute. All right, so one minute's gone by. Screen is still on, so that's a good sign. Just gonna drop the phone a little bit quickly. Let's get all the water out of the speaker. I don't know if you guys can see this, but some just shot out. We're gonna do a speaker test on the five minute test because we might as well just do it one time instead of doing it now. But everything still seems to be working. So touch functionality is in working order. I can swipe up and down. I can swipe left to right without any issues. Let's do a quick test for the camera. This is the rear camera. As you can see, there's no cloudiness at the camera at all. Front facing camera, mm, still looks good. I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera. It's kind of tough, but maybe I have to put my hand here or something. Oh, wait, oh, it's hard to see. Anyways, there's no cloudiness there. There is a little bit of water on the lens. So I'm kind of worried that water is seeping inside or maybe when I opened up the camera, water went onto the lens itself. All right, five minute test. This is the big one. So here we go, phone's still working, display is on, dropping it in. Boom. All right, five minutes is up. Screen is still working. I'm gonna dry the phone off. So as you can see, the display is still working. I can swipe up and down without any issues. I can scroll left or right. Camera. Not cloudy, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's not cloudy. Front facing camera, I don't know if you guys can see that. Not cloudy either, so no water has seeped inside of the camera lens. Now the big test though is the sound test. How does it sound? Are the speakers muffled? And to be quite honest, it might take some time for it to dry out, but let's give it a shot anyways. I'm gonna go to my little boy here. Open sesame. Sounds clear to me. Okay, speakers work. Now let's test call quality. Okay, speaker's good. There's no distortion. Hey, Hello? hey, can you hear me okay? Yeah. You're on camera. You can hear me perfectly, right? Doesn't sound muffled or anything? No, it sounds clear. Okay, cool. Thank you, goodbye. Bye. All right, so there you have it. After five minutes, everything seems to be working. Now, you know what? I feel like we didn't push this phone hard enough. Let's do one more test. Let's do a 30 minute test. Now this is close to an IP67 or IP68 without the depth. So this should give us a really good idea how water resistant this phone really is. Three, 
two, one, boom. 30 minutes is done. The moment of truth. Let me just get the water off of it and then I will turn it on. Let's see. Whew, I'm nervous. Oh my God, I just saw the screen. It turned on. Okay, that's good. All right, get the water out of the speaker. You can see that just coming out. Okay, camera just turned on by accident there. All right, here we go. Screen is fully functional. It's working, it's looking good. I can swipe up, I can swipe down without any issues. Swipe left, swipe right. So far, so good. The next thing I wanna test is the camera. So this is the rear camera. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's not cloudy at all. There is zero water affecting the rear camera. Now for the front facing camera, wow, oh my God. It actually survived it. Now again, we have a little bit of water on the top of the lens, so maybe it got a little bit inside and got blocked, who knows, or maybe it came on the lens when I opened it up. But as you can see, the screen is not cloudy at all. Zero water damage inside of the lens. Let's do a little speaker test. Okay, now this is a little distorted. Very minor. I don't know, what do you think, Ash? Yeah, very, very small. And this could be because the water still needs to dry, so I'm gonna give it time for that. And the last thing I wanna test is obviously the call quality. Let's give uh, my wife a call again. Let's see if she picks up this time. Hello? Can you hear me? Do I sound okay? You're on camera. Yeah. I can hear me perfectly. Like, there's no distortion, absolutely nothing. No, you sound good. Beautiful, and I hear you perfectly. Okay, you have yourself a great day. Great, goodbye. Goodbye. There you have it guys, 30 minutes or 36 if you want to include the other tests, it survived underwater. Now obviously this is not reminiscent of an IP67 or 68 test, but noted it did survive 30 minutes dunked underwater. The other thing I want to mention though is we don't know if any problems are going to creep up over time because let's face it, it takes time for water damage to happen. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait another two weeks I'm gonna see if the phone is still working perfectly. I'm gonna update you guys on whether or not there are any issues. So that pretty much wraps it up. That's the OnePlus 7 Pro water resistant test. It passed it so far. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.